Hey, what's going on guys? It is Chuck here and today for this Firebot tutorial, we are going to be making automatic shout outs. So if this is the first Firebot tutorial you are seeing from me, I highly recommend uh, if you are, especially if you're new to Firebot, uh, you go back and watch some of the uh, earlier Firebot tutorials. Um, namely, the one that you really should watch is the complex commands, which is tutorial number two. A complex commands, we actually created a shout out command, which includes an on screen little shout out widget uh, and a chat message. What we're going to be doing today is we're actually going to be taking that shout out command and we're going to be putting it into a different place in Firebot and then setting up an automatic shout out. So when someone arrives to your channel and they are a member of your group of auto shout outs, uh, they will be automatically shouted out. So. With that said, let's jump in to Firebot. All right, so when we look at the shoutout command today, uh, if we open this up, you'll see that we have a show shoutout uh, effect, which is the default Firebot shoutout with our colors, as well as, you know, go check out this amazing person. Um, we also have our chat message. What we're gonna be doing is taking these things and actually removing them uh, from the shoutout command. Uh, Firebot has something called an effect uh, preset list. What's really nice about this is it means that if you have something that you want to be able to use multiple different ways, so for example, you might shout someone out by running the command or shout somebody out by uh, putting them in your automatic shout out group, or if someone raids you, maybe you auto shout them out, uh, what you will want to do uh, is rather than having to update your show shoutout command and your chat effect in three places, it's only in one place. So if you want to change a color or change some of the wording that you're using, uh, you don't have to change it in three places or uh, you'll probably forget. <laughs> and so your old stuff will be shown occasionally in one of the other effects that you have to go change later. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be hitting cancel here. Uh, just so I look at the shoutout command as it exists today, I'm going to copy all of the effects in this command. So by clicking the dots, I'm going to hit copy all effects. So now that we've got all the effects copied, what we're going to do is we're going to hit cancel. We're just going to close out of the shoutout command. Uh, that way, you want to hit cancel because if you ended up making a change you didn't intend to, it, uh, it'll reset itself. Um, so we've done that. Now we're going to go over to the effects tab on the left side of Firebot. So under the effects tab, we are going to be going to the preset effects list uh, up at the top, and we're gonna create a new preset effects list. So we're gonna hit the plus button here, and we're gonna create our new effect. We're gonna call this shout out. Now, we want data to be passed into our shout out. Uh, so what we're gonna say is we're gonna call this uh, user. So we're gonna call this our user. And if you mouse over this, it'll tell you that you can access this by using the variable preset list arg user. We're gonna paste our effects here. So we've already copied this uh, from our existing shoutout command just the way we like it. So we're gonna open show shoutout and we're gonna replace this target variable with our preset list arg, which we named user to user. And we're gonna copy this and we're gonna paste it here in the username. So what this means is our shout out overlay will always put whatever we give it, in this case, we're gonna give it a username uh, here. Now we can't use the target variable like we were before because sometimes there won't actually be a target. There'll, there'll actually be a, a user. Um, and so, uh, we have to make it more generic. It has to be able to accept a target if we use the shoutout command, that's a target. But if we're automating this, it won't have a target. It will just have a user. So we have to change how we use, we use this. So uh, I promise if this isn't making any sense, you'll see what I mean in a second. So we've got our user here and we're gonna hit save. Now we're gonna go to our chat message as well. And we're gonna replace this target here with the same thing. So preset list user, uh, preset list arg with the user, and we're gonna put their name there as well. 
And if we want to, we can even tag them in chat by putting an at symbol at the front of that. Uh, so we've got our chat message. This is our hyperlink to their Twitch channel to check them out after we shout them out. We're gonna hit save. And now we have our, our shout out uh, preset effect list. So we're gonna hit save. Now let's go back to our chat command. So we're gonna go to shout out. We're gonna open up shout out and we're actually going to delete all the effects here. Don't be scared, I promise this will be fine. Uh, so we've got our effects, we've deleted it. And what we're gonna do instead is we're actually going to add a new effect that we are going to call uh, effect uh, run preset run effect list here. So we're gonna run an effect list and we're gonna hit set or select. So we're gonna switch our type from custom to a preset. So remember, we're basically defining at a global Firebot level, the shout out effect, which includes the on-screen overlay uh, pop-up and it includes uh, a chat message. So we're gonna choose preset and you'll see that it will show us shout out. So we'll hit shout out. Uh, and you'll see that it says pass data into the preset select list, which is exactly what we want to do. So before with our shout out command, we used dollar sign target. We're going to do the same exact thing here. We're going to give our user variable for our, for our shout out effect, a value of the target of our command here. So we'll hit that and then we will hit add and that's it. We're gonna hit save changes. And now let's connect Firebot here. And let's go over here and we're gonna run the shout out command. So let's shout out eBigs. There you go, it worked. So his name showed up on the side. His link is there, it looks good. We hit put the at symbol at the front of the chat message. So our shout out command now works exactly how we want it to. And all we're doing is a single shout out preset. So if you wanna make a change to your presets, you go to the effects tab, to your presets, and we got our shout out here. So if we wanna change the color, so let's say we don't want blue, but we want another green, uh, we can scroll down, find a green that we like, maybe something that's less bright, something like that, a little darker. There we go, something like that, that looks good, huh? Perfect. So we've got that, we'll hit save, save, uh, and let's shout someone else out that's different. So this time uh, we'll shout out Mage Enclave. We'll hit shout out, there we go. Perfect. So it's respecting everything uh, through the effect queue. Now let's set up uh, preset. So now let's set up automated uh, shout outs for users. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna go to the uh, viewer role tab on the left side of Firebot. And we're gonna create a new custom role. So uh, you can call this whatever you'd like. I'm gonna call this auto shout out. And I'm gonna add a viewer to it, specifically Applebot. So we're gonna add Applebot to it and I'm gonna hit add. So Applebot is a viewer. Uh, when Applebot comes into chat and says hello, they will be auto shouted out. At least that's the idea. The nice part about these roles is that your moderators can actually manage the, their members. So through chat commands. So if we go to the commands tab, the system commands, you'll see that there are role management commands. So you can see that you can add a viewer to our role. In this case, it would be uh, auto shout out. Um, you can remove them or you can list if someone is in uh, a role or not. So those are the system commands that you can use for role management that you can let your moderators use. Uh, we'll get into groups later, um, but this is sort of your first introduction, through, at least through my tutorials, uh, in terms of how roles work in Firebot. Um, roles are really cool as well. Um, if you set up currencies, you can actually have uh, members of different groups actually earn currency at different rates. So for me, I have a group of Firebot VIPs, which is separate from actual VIPs in chat, um, who still accrue currency at a different rate than users who are not. Um, they also have the ability to run certain commands because you can use the Firebot roles 
in your restrictions. So you could say Firebot VIP, at least in my stream, Firebot VIPs can run pretty much all of the mod commands. So shout outs, uh, they can run bans, they can time people out uh, without actually being a moderator. So they can be a pseudo mod for me. Um, and you can kind of customize that stuff. Uh, so we've got our auto shout out here. What we need to do now is we need to create a new event. Uh, so under the events tab, uh, we are going to create a new event and I'm going to call this auto shout out. And this is going to be under our stream alerts. So I'm going to put this under my event set. If you have your own event sets or if you just want to put it under general events, go ahead. But under stream alerts, I'm going to create a new event. This is going to be called viewer arrived. So the viewer arrived event is when someone chats in your stream for the first time. So when they chat in your stream for the first time, uh, at least the first time that Firebot's open and they see them chat, uh, we're gonna have them auto shout out. So we're gonna call this auto, auto shout out. And essentially the way that this is gonna work is that if the user uh, has a role of auto shout out, we'll hit save, then we'll run our uh, effect list. So we're gonna run our effect list here uh, where we are going to say, run our preset, shout out. And what we have to pass in here, it's not target. So remember with the normal shout out command, we, we use target. Uh, but for this, the user who's running the event is the one who chatted. So we're gonna type dollar sign user. Um, again, you can find this through the variables. Uh, you can type user username, uh, what have you, there's basically two. We're gonna choose the user and pass that in to our effect list and we're gonna hit add. Now it's important here that we add this to a queue. So right now there isn't a queue. We wanna make sure that this is a part of our alerts queue. We don't want this to uh, overlap. So especially at the start of a stream when several people might be showing up at the same time, we don't want all these shout outs to happen immediately. We want them to have a bit of a delay. So let's add our alerts queue. And our effect takes eight seconds to run. So we're gonna put a nine second delay in between each running of our shout out. So we've got that, perfect. Uh, and we'll hit save, perfect. So now we have auto shout outs. Uh, if we go to our command, let's also make sure that shout out is part of our queue. It actually isn't. So our shout out command would ignore the queue. So let's make sure that this follows the queue. So again, uh, nine seconds here. Um, so we've got that, perfect. So we'll hit save. Our shout out command is now set up. Let's see what happens when Applebot says hello in the stream for that first time. All right, so we're gonna have Applebot say hi and we should expect to see the shout out appear on the side. Assuming I didn't screw this up. There it goes, auto shout it out. Applebot, Applebot's an amazing streamer. All Applebot did was say hi. I didn't have to run the command. Uh, and I can say, uh, I can shout him out. It's me, I guess. <laughs> so we're talking about my bot account in third person. Uh, but I can shout out Applebot as well. Now, um, again, we can do that. If I type hi again, uh, nothing will happen. It won't run the effect again because Applebot has already arrived uh, in Firebot's mind to my stream. So what I could do is I could restart Firebot, which is actually what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna restart Firebot. And when we restart Firebot, we're actually gonna test what happens when we sh auto shout someone else out and then have Applebot say hi. So we're gonna verify that our queue is working. So let's do a shout out. So we're gonna shout out eBigs. And while that's happening, I'm gonna make sure that I type hi on the side. So, okay, so we're gonna shout out eBigs, and then we're gonna say hi. So, you'll notice it hasn't shouted Applebot out yet, but we have eBigs up on the screen. This is gonna go away, and there's Applebot. So see, there's actually a bit of an overlap there. So I think I actually need to add a little bit more than eight, se uh, nine seconds. So maybe 10 seconds in between shout outs is, is good. So let's go to our uh, events, our stream alerts, we're gonna to go to auto shout out. Let's change our queue here from nine seconds uh, to 10. Now, one thing you'll notice 
The way I did this is that this Q is on the effect itself, the event. That means I have to change it in every place I'm putting the Q. If I go to the effects tab and go to presets, I can apply my Q here instead. And now anywhere the shoutout effect is used, it respects my timer. So I'm gonna put 10 seconds here and I'm gonna hit save. And we'll hit save here as well. Uh, and then we go to our stream alerts, our auto shout out. We're gonna actually remove the queue. Uh, we don't need a queue anymore. Uh, same thing from our commands. Uh, we're going to go here. We don't need this to be in a queue either. Uh, our effect preset will just do it for us. So if we shout out eBigs, and then if we shout out Ninja, uh, it will, you'll see it hasn't shouted out Ninja yet. It's respecting the fact that we have 10 seconds in between each shout out. So eBigs goes away, here comes Ninja. So that is uh, a bit of Q work, which I think we talked about in like tutorial four or five, uh, and then our shout out command in a nice automated way. Uh, if you want to add more viewers to this, uh, we can just keep adding people to our viewer roles. So we can just keep adding people. So if I want to add eBigs to this, uh, if I want to add Ninja, so like if Ninja were to come in my stream, he's auto shouted out. Um, that is how you would do that. Uh, lastly, the same thing would be true if we wanted this to happen on a raid. So if we go to our events tab, you'll notice I don't have a raid celebration. However, if I create one, so we'll do a channel raid. So someone raids me. Uh, so we'll have a raid alert. We can add a filter. So again, uh, perfect. So we've got our filter here. Uh, we're gonna add our effect list here. So we'll say run effect list, select, and we're gonna do the preset, uh, shout out. Again, we're gonna pass in user. So when someone raids us, now it will auto be shouted out immediately, which is really pretty cool. So. That is auto shoutouts in Firebot. We took a look at changing our shoutout command from having everything sort of embedded in it uh, to moving to a preset effect list. It's super handy. We're gonna be diving way more into that. That's actually how I do a lot of the effects on my stream are through preset effect lists. Um, and then we took a look at viewer roles, which are basically just groups of people uh, and we built a little raid command that when we're raided, I uh, will automatically shout out the raider, um, which is always pretty cool. So uh, thank you guys very much for watching. If you want to see more Firebot tutorials, please hit that subscribe button down below. If you like this video, give it a like. Uh, and if you want to see anything else, or if you had any questions about the things that I showed, sometimes I talk too fast or I don't explain things fully, uh, leave a comment down below. I've been replying and answering any questions that pop up in chat. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's all that we have for this video. Uh, peace out. Stay classy. I love your guys' faces and I will see you guys next time. Bye.